being and staying attractive to your man is not just an essential part of a relationship it is actually a big deal and do you know that there are secrets to keeping your man attracted to you of course there are secrets let's look at some of these secrets Want to know the secrets of keeping your man attracted to you constantly, daily, forever, till death do you part? Of course, by now you know that it's more than a look. It's about the mind, the heart, and the soul as well. Being a Christian woman does not mean you have to be less attractive. In fact, it is the more reason why you should be irresistible to your husband. So today we are looking at faith-based ways to remain sweet irresistible and forever attractive to the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. First off, let's talk about inner growth and intelligence. The book of Proverbs in chapter 31 verse 20 says, says she opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on a tongue. Intelligence is incredibly attractive. It is not about knowing everything. Of course, no. It is about showing the desire to learn and to grow. As a Christian woman, one way to be irresistible to your man is continuous learning. Learn new skills, new hobbies, do new things. Don't just be that woman that prays and prays in tongues all of the time. Even the book of Ecclesiastes tells us that there's time and season for everything. Learn new hobbies. Engage in activities that will make you more attractive, that will make you intelligent, that will make you grow your inner being. And of course, it will manifest in your outward look. Whether it's reading a new book, taking a new class or exploring new hobbies together. Learning keeps you stimulated and interesting to your partner. Another aspect of growth that you want to look at, of course, is your spiritual growth. You cannot grow physically and neglect your spiritual aspect. I always say that the spirit controls the physical. We are, first of all, spirit beings. So learning to grow spiritually. And what are the things that you do to grow spiritually? You know already. You pray. You study the word of God together. You meditate on the word of God together. When you do this, it translates into your physical. And it, of course, it is obvious. A woman who is spiritually sound is a virtuous woman. And a virtuous woman who can find, right? You know that scripture in the book of Proverbs. Growing in faith together via Bible discussions, worshiping together, praying together can actually increase your emotional and spiritual bond. And this will make you more attractive to each other on a deeper level. When we talk about spiritual growth, we are talking about studying your Bible, meditating on your Bible, discussing your Bible together with your partner, praying together, worshiping together. Growing in faith together actually deepens your emotional and spiritual bond. And this can make you more attractive to each other on a deeper level. Next. Let's focus on kindness and compassion. Ephesians in chapter 4 verse 32 reminds us to be kind and compassionate towards one another. These qualities go beyond physical attractiveness and touch the heart. For instance, acts of service. Small thoughtful gestures like making his favorite meals, you know, learning a song that you know he loves so much and singing it together, writing him a note, drafting a poem, or, you know, just making something creative that when he sees it, you know, it blows his mind. Or just being there to serve, to help him whenever he needs help. These are acts of service that makes a woman super attractive. Apart from acts of service, you can also be compassionate in your actions. You know, being there for them through their tough times, through trials. This demonstrates a deep, caring connection that goes beyond superficial attraction. It makes you, as a woman, beautiful, not just outside, but within. A compassionate woman is an irresistible, attractive woman. You agree with me, right? Now to my third point, which is maintaining physical attraction in meaningful ways. How do I mean? Physical attraction is important, but it goes beyond just looks. 
First Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 19 to 20 teaches us that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so if you have a body that is the temple of the Holy Spirit, you want to keep it clean. You know that the Holy Spirit does not like death. So you want to ensure that your body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit, is always kept clean and holy. And a clean and holy body is an attractive body, isn't it? Your physical attraction should not just include your hairs and your makeup, but first it should include your health and well-being. Take good care of yourself. Eat well. Eat right. Learn about the food and nutritious, you know, meals that you can eat to ensure that your physical body that houses the Holy Spirit is well kept. How do you maintain physical attraction? One good way, a most important way to do so is your health and well-being. Take good care of yourself. Eat well. Don't just wear nice wigs and do nice makeup. Eat well. Exercise if you have to. Keep your body clean. Another way to keep your physical attractiveness is to embrace your natural beauty. Nothing beats authenticity. Be your authentic self any day, anytime is attractive. Do you know why? It enables you to show your true self, to be you, to be genuine. And when you are with a man and he sees how authentic you are, he sees that you are, you are just an amazing person because he can see the genuine you. It builds connection and it helps you guys to even fall in love with one another over and over again. The first secret to being and staying attractive to your man is communication and emotional intimacy. We all know that there is no relationship that can survive without effective communication. The book of James in chapter 1 verse 19 advises us to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. If many of us, especially as women, can adhere to what the book of James chapter 1 verse 19 tells us, a lot of problems and issues in our relationships and our marriages will be no more. One good way to ensure communication and emotional intimacy is to have open conversations. When we have open conversation, it builds trust and our emotional intimacy. Open conversations help us to be free. You know, you're open with your partner. After all, he is your partner for life. Be open about every and anything with them. Even when they scrutinize you, criticize you, they are doing so because they love you. So be open. And it even gives you the opportunity to tell your partner everything that you're thinking or imagining. And once you're being open with them, they will also be open with you. And imagine the both of you being open with one another. another. It makes life easy because then nobody is hiding anything. Nobody is keeping anything and thinking maybe, oh, my husband is acting this way because of this. No, you're open. You're telling them this is what I'm thinking. Open conversation actually fosters an environment where both of you feel safe to share your thoughts and your feelings. And when this happens, it builds trust and emotional intimacy. Expressing gratitude is another way to, you know, communicate and be emotionally connected to your partner. And it's a secret weapon that a lot of women need to use. Expressing gratitude for the little things. When you say, darling, could you please pick that pen for me? And they do so. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. I love you. You know, when you express gratitude, it makes the man in your life know that you appreciate them. You're seeing the little things that they are doing. And if you have children around you, they're already seeing and learning from you. So when they go out, they appreciate people. When people help them, you know, perform an act of service or people just gift them something. They see what mommy is doing in the house and it helps the children to grow into humans who are grateful to God, grateful to the people around them and who show appreciation for every good deed. Appreciating your partner will go a long way in maintaining mutual respect and love. The fifth and final secret to being and staying attractive as a woman is your faith and shared values. A popular scripture that we all know and quote all of the time is Amos chapter 3 verse 3 which says, can two walk together except they be agreed. Your values and faith are your foundation as a woman. So if you have different values and faith from your husband, there is no way that man will continue to see you as attractive or there's no way you will continue to be irresistible to him because you share different values and faith. He's not going to find you attractive. 
attending bible study together or church service worship service conferences faith-based activities that you both value these activities reinforces your common values and helps you grow together spiritually as a woman who wants to continue to be attractive to a man let your faith guide your actions and decisions a relationship that is guided by shared values and faith is more likely to survive when the storm hits or when there are issues because you both believe in what you believe in you both know your god and so when issues come you both can stand together pray together hold hands together agree together and when you agree together the bible says whatsoever you bind here on earth will be bound in heaven and such a woman of course is an attractive woman the husband would always every day find her attractive so these are my five secrets to being and staying attractive as a Christian woman. Are there some other secrets that you know that can make a Christian woman or any woman to remain attractive and irresistible to their man? I'd love to hear from you. So share them with me in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. You know, I always like to share the scripture with you. So today I'm going to be leaving you with the book of first Peter chapter three from verse three to four. I want you to ponder on this scripture. This is what it says. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Thank you for watching till I come your way again next week. Do have a beautiful relationship and enjoy your week.